Hey, it's Bitty Penny, and today I'm playing with Better Together. This is a stamp, and you can also get coordinating dies. Uh, it's the stamp of the month, and I brought in this Lawn Fawn stencil paste in silver. I'm also going to be using this stencil, which was designed by Crafty Owl. Call me Crafty Owl for not too shabby. And I'm going to be making three A2 cards with you guys today. Okay, so the process for me began with the stencil paste and the stencil. You know, it's kind of like when you're cooking in the kitchen, the thing that takes the longest to cook is what you need to start with. Same thing here, like the um, stencil paste is going to take the longest time to dry. And so I wanted to start with that. So I covered this whole eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper with this paste. I did leave some gaps and holes because I knew it was going to be the background of my card. So I didn't, I knew it would be covered with my stamped images. So a few gaps was fine. I used all <laughs> of the stamps today and I, um, my favorite ink, which is a hybrid so that I can decide later if I want to watercolor or if I want to use my alcohol inks. And I went ahead and stamped everything out twice and I just love these images, you guys. And for the coordinating dies, they come on metal sheets, which the magnetic sheets, which is fantastic for storage. Here is how I colored everything up. I used my alcohol markers to color all of my images. And I made my salt um, a pink Himalayan salt. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to use these six Distress Oxides for a background paper as well. So I brought in another 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. And I'm just going to kind of do three colors together all throughout this sheet. Um, I am making this. So I wanted to use my Oxides because I wanted to spray on it. I love that texture. It just always makes me happy. And Jamie usually gets like the latest distress side distress inks that are released oh, words today okay so she'll usually get all the latest releases and she gets it both in the oxide and the regular distress ink so if y'all are ever looking for distress oxides or distress inks check out not too shabby so here is my very shabby looking sheet of paper, but it's going to be totally fine. So I'm going to use my cutouts here, kind of arrange them the way I want them to be on my card front. And then I'm going to sketch a very wonky heart behind them. So if you um, wanted, you could, and you have it, then you could obviously use heart dies for this part, but I really just kind of wanted to sketch my hearts and that way I could make it any size that I needed with the ephemera that I had grouped together. So I'm just going to hold those together with washi tape. It's a great way once you have things arranged to keep them <laughs> that way. And I, I was just kind of laying some other pieces out and this size of heart is just really ideal. So I'm going to cut out three of these and they are super wonky, but I just love that about them. It doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> and I sketched on the back of the paper just so my pencil marks and things wouldn't show in the final result and I wouldn't have to be too worried about it. Not worried about it at all. <laughs> okay, so now I needed just to clean up that W a little bit. And I'm going to spritz these with water. I just love the way this looks every time. Every time it makes me happy. And I'm also going to bring in the speckled egg color and I'm going to use that for splatter because why not splatter makes me happy too <laughs> and I'm just going to splatter this all around once these pieces have thoroughly dried 
then I will be able to come in and attach my ephemera that I created. So I am gluing some pieces down and I'm popping other pieces up. with foam tape. So one of my cookies is going to be glued down and the other one will be popped up. I am so excited to have this set in my stash. I know I'm going to use it quite a bit. Sorry if you hear my daughter in the background. She's getting very excited about something. I don't know what. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so here is this adorable bowl of cereal and a cup of milk to my bestie. So much fun. I love that there's dyes that coordinate with the sentiments. Of course, the images, that's always preferred. But I like that it also coordinates with the sentiments and cuts those out too. Super fun. My last one here is going to be a soda and a hot dog. So much fun. I was like, okay, mustard or ketchup? Mustard or ke mustard? Yep. I like both. How do y'all, what do y'all like on your hot dogs? I like relish, mustard, and ketchup. Throw some onions in too if you have them. Um, but yeah. That's what I prefer. And sometimes some cheddar cheese <laughs> just or chili. Just throw everything at it. I, I, I'm open. All right. My stenciled background paper is dry. And I'm kind of just getting an idea here about how wide to cut it because I'm just wanting it to kind of peek behind um, my heart images. So I go ahead and cut out three of these. And I'm excited to have other pieces in my stash now ready to go. So I'll keep those scraps for sure. And so here's the look I'm kind of going for. And I wanted to also bring in the paper. So this was from a past kit and so was this one. Different kits. Um, but I really just thought that they would go nicely with the way these were colored up. And then I made a sheet with... Um, distress oxides. So a little bit of everything here in the end. I am so excited to be crafting for Valentine's. I love love. So it's one of my favorite holidays to craft for is Valentine's Day. It just makes me so happy. I'm gluing everything down. The only thing popped up on these cards today will just be like on this one, one of the cookies, just keeping it simple. But because of all the layers, it still has plenty of dimension to it. And here are my three cards. Oh, I love them. My first three Valentines for 2022. Here is such a fun one. I just did simple stamping and used scrap paper on the inside of each one. This one I had even a leftover little cookie, so I popped it up with some of the stamped cookies. And this little guy. So cute. So fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely click the link down below to go to Not Too Shabby and check out all the wonderful things in the shop and the stamp set. Make sure to subscribe. There's always inspiration here. Go over to Biddy Penny, or if you're watching this on Biddy Penny, go over to Not Too Shabby. Check both channels out and have a wonderful day. See you guys next time. Bye.